Coming up is a 30 minute extreme cardio and core workout that you can do at home without any equipment. You'll get your heart rate up, break a major sweat, and tone your abs. For those in apartments or have any knee or joint issues, I'll provide low impact options so that you can follow along too. Grab a mat, sweat towel, and water, and let's do this. Are you ready? Let's go. And so let's go ahead and get started with a warm up. Let's bring those feet nice and wide. Two big deep breaths to start. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, hands up. Exhale, let it go. We're still waking up, so toes are pointing forward, four point squat. Reach up to the sky, reach your hands all the way down to your toes. Big squat here, drop the hips down, lift the hands up, and then squeeze the tush at the top. Again, reach down, feel the hamstrings, stretch out, then bend those legs deeply, reach your hands up, and repeat. Let's go two more times. And last one. All right, now from here, you're gonna go ahead into a squat. You can have your toes out or parallel, up to you. Squat down, reach one hand down to the floor, reach the other hand up to the sky. Come back to your regular squat, stand up, and then we go ahead and switch. So again, squat, other hand comes down, reach. So we're finding mobility in our spine, but we're also connecting to our core. As you rotate, you wanna think about pressing your belly button into the spine, and then eyes gaze up. Good, let's go two more just like that. All the way down, reach up. And switch one more time. Good, all right, let's go into a reverse lunge, and as we do that, reach your hands up to the sky. Drop that back knee as low as you can. Think about expanding through your chest. Dropping that knee as low as you can. If it's, oh, if it's halfway, that's okay. Let's go two more. And let's go one more. And rest. All right, from here, we're gonna drop down to the knees, all fours position. Let's go into a bird dog reach. Extend your right leg back. Left hand comes forward, find your balance. Press the shoulder away from the ear. And then let's go ahead and switch. Let's go two more, right and left. And switch. Now from here, plank position. You're gonna stack the shoulders on the wrists. Come into your downward dog. Drive those heels down towards the floor. Press the chest down towards the thighs. As you come on in, drive one knee into the chest. Again, downward facing dog. Come back to your plank. And then other knee comes into the chest. Let's go two more times. Drive it in. And then last one here. Good. Now go onto your backs. Go onto your backs. You're gonna hug your knees into your chest. Hug your knees into your chest. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and extend. Hold your shoulder blades off the floor as you extend your legs and your arms nice and long. Again, bring it in and then extend. Bring it in, extend. Let's go two more. And last one. Drive those knees into the chest, roll on up, come up to a stand. And let's go into a nice easy boxer shuffle, just side to side, wake everything up. Good, let's go ahead and create more space in between our feet, side to side. If you don't wanna to jump today, that's okay. You can just march in place. Let's start to kick our butt, heels to the glutes. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're gonna take off in 30 seconds. Our first exercise is gonna be drop squats. So you're gonna bring those feet together to start. Jack the feet out. When you do, hand comes down to the floor. Come back up and switch. If you need a low impact option, you're gonna go ahead, step side to side. Try to get that big range of motion, waking up the legs, getting that heart rate going. We take off in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Now, as you come down, let's make sure the booty is lower than the chest. 
What I don't want to see is any rounding. So if you are rounding, reduce your range of motion, please. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, rest. Next exercise, seal jacks. Feet together, hands together. Jack it out, come back in. Option, side to side. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So as you do this, think about squeezing your back, opening up the chest, keeping those knees nice and soft. Finding a pace that works for you. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Good, next, Heisman rainbow knee. You're gonna start to one side, inside knee is up. Up, down, up, down. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. If that's too much, just stick to the legs. And then when you're ready, try to add that rainbow arm. Every single time that knee comes up, crunch your core. Three, two, one, rest. All right, that's your circuit. We're gonna do those three moves back to back, 90 seconds of work, no breaks. Starting with your drop squats. We together to start. We take off. Three, two, one, let's go. By the end of this, we should be feeling pretty winded. Getting into that breathless, uncomfortable uh, state. Coming up, seal jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. Go straight into it. Great work, 15. Coming your way, Heisman, rainbow knees, in three, two, one, let's go. Try to minimize any transition time. 20 seconds and then you get a break. Keep those arms nice and long, almost like a cheerleader, right? Create those lines, 10 seconds. You got three, two, one, rest. Whew. 30 seconds, hit your breath. Are you winded? Are you breathless? Good. If not, you got one more round. One more round to get there. Whew. 15 seconds, yep, just pace around. Nice work, friends. Here we go. Starting with your drop squats. In. Three, two, one, let's go. Whew. I said this in one of my classes. Imagine yourself one year from now having achieved your goals and then ask yourself, what did the today version of you have to do in order to get to where she is in the future. Seal jacks, three, two, one, let's go. How committed would you be? How disciplined would you be if you knew that a year from now, you're gonna get to your goals? Make sure that your actions reflect what you want in the future, 
rather than what you're afraid of from the past. Heisman rainbows. Let's go. Keep working hard. You got it, you got it. 15 seconds and then a break. Three, two, one, rest. One minute, grab a sip of water, towel down. Let me know in the chat, how you feeling? Are we breathing hard, breathless? Woo, empowered, strong. Let us know. We're gonna be moving on to core. So block number two is all about core work. When you're ready, head down to the floor. First exercise, our plank leg lifts. So, plank position, shoulders stacked on top of wrists. Without moving your butt, leg lifts up. I want you to feel that contraction in the booty. If you need an option, you drop down to those knees. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Now eyes looking in between the hands. Try your best to keep your hips down. Again, your option here. Knees down, just keep the hips down as well. 10 seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. Good, next exercise is a bear walk in and out. Coming back to your plank position, come into a bear, knees one inch off the floor, come back to your plank, and then switch each side. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. You can go slow. What you wanna try to avoid are your hips coming up like this, right? We're not in a downward dog. You're totally missing out on the core. So keep your back flat. Three, two, one. Rest. Next move, side plank rotations. You're still on a plank. You're gonna rotate your feet, open up, and then switch sides. Okay, I'll show you an option. In three, two, one, let's go. Now, if you wanna do this on the knees, you're gonna lift one foot up, keep one knee down. Make sure that your shoulder's on your wrist when you're moving side to side. You have three, two, one, and time. All right, so we're gonna do those moves back to back. You're basically holding yourself up for 90 seconds, so if you need to drop down, don't worry, it's okay. It's a challenge for a reason. Here we go, plank leg lifts, three, two, one, Let's go. We're getting into those deep inner core muscles. The deepest layer right here, 10 seconds. We're gonna go into your bear walk. Three, two, one, let's go. Get those knees one inch away. Shoulders burning up, yes? You got it. We're gonna go into your side plank rotations. Three, two, one, let's go. Woo. Mm 
and drop down to that child's pose if you need to. 15 seconds. Now that you guys have totally demolished the plank challenge, I feel like this is nothing for you, huh? Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds. Woo, take that child's pose. Stretch out the shoulders. We're gonna do that one more round. What's nice about this is it feels like it goes quick. I guess it's a little dirty when you're in it, but as soon as it's done, we're already, we're already moving on to the next thing. Here we go, leg lifts. Three, two, one, let's go. Just breathe, focus on form. Don't be afraid to modify if you need to. We're gonna go into your bear walk. Three, two, one, let's go. You got it, you got it. Stay with it, I know you're feeling it right now. Hang on. We're gonna go into your side plank rotations. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. I don't know what's feeling it more, my core or my shoulders. You got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Woo! All right, when you're ready, slowly come on up to a stand. One minute break, grab a sip of water. You guys are absolutely rocking it. We're gonna move on. Ooh, this one's gonna be a burner. <laughs> Get ready. So, we're gonna start in a lunge position. You're gonna hold your lunge, and we're just gonna hop. We wanna to try to get both feet off the floor and then come back down at the same time. So, left foot forward, right foot back. Come on down, mini hop here. Okay, nothing big. Just half a centimeter off the floor, come back down. If you're like, no jumping at all, I just want you to go ahead and pulse and just swing. Pretend you are jumping right there, okay? Here we go, taking off in five, four, three, Two, one, let's go. Now I kind of swing my arms back every single time I jump, but it just gives me a little bit of momentum. Legs are going to be jello. Five, three, Two, one, and rest. All right, you probably know what's coming up next, right? We got another side. So, right foot forward, left foot back, lunge pulse hops, three, two, one, let's go. Now keep your feet on two different railroad tracks if you're losing your balance. It's because you're on that tight rope. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, okay, and then your last move. Shuffles, forward and back. Just like you're on an elliptical. No jumping, you can march in place. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Just run it, keep it easy. You'll enjoy this 
after we've burnt out our legs, then you're gonna be like, oh, it's a piece of cake. 15. Five, three, two, one, and rest. All right, that's your circuit. We're gonna go from the top, starting with your lunge pulse on the right, lunge pulse on the left, and then shuffles to finish it. Here we go. You're all right, you're okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, every day we get a chance to choose our hard. This is the hard I am willing to go through. How about you? 10 seconds. Switch in three, two, one, let's go. Come on. It ain't easy, but it's worth it. Ten seconds. Shuffles. Three, two, one. Ah! Told you. You'd be like, thank you. Thank you for these shuffles. Find your breath. Ten seconds. You got three, two, one, rest. All right, 30 seconds. Then we'll do it again. Last round, best round. And then we finish off with core. So this is your last time to get your heart rate up. Let's make a count. Let's work for it. Let's try to deepen our squats, our lunges. We'll take off in 10. You are strong. You are capable. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep fighting halfway. Okay, deeper lunge, deeper lunge, let's go. Come on, it's only five seconds. Three, two, one, switch. Right away. Halfway, deeper lunge, deeper lunge, go. Oh my goodness. You have three, two, one, shuffles. Just shake it out, let it go, 20. Now your final 10, I'm gonna ask you to sprint. Three, two, one, sprint. Go. Three, two, one. Time. One minute. How we feeling? Hope we're feeling amazing. Sweaty. Woo. Let's go ahead and head down to the floor. We're gonna be here for the remainder of this workout. And we'll actually be on our backs. So I plan this accordingly so that you can finish off with a little sense of relaxation on your back. But we're still gonna work hard. So we're gonna go into a knee tuck to a stretch. You're actually gonna start with your hands up overhead and just lay here. You're gonna tuck in. Try to connect your forehead to your knees, really, really nice and tight, and then release all the way down, okay? We'll take off in 10 seconds. 
So get down here, enjoy it, soak it in. Three, two, one, let's go. You're gonna tuck the knees in, really squeeze, and then release. Release with control. Don't just plop, but place. Place it down. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, next one, single leg V up. So you're gonna lift up, torso comes up off the floor, connect hand to toe, and then switch. If that's too much, you're gonna take a half crunch, drive the knee in one at a time. Three, two, one, go. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Ten seconds. You have three, two, one, and rest. All right, final move is a full V up. So hands, torso lifts, both legs lift at the same time. If you need an option, you're gonna tuck the knees into the chest. Three, two, one, let's go. So the option here, if you need it, is you're gonna basically kinda do what you did in the first variation. So all three moves, we're targeting your rectus abdominis, that is your front of the abs, also referred to as your six pack. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, just relax here, just enjoy it. If you'd like to take an active recovery, you can swing those knees side to side, windshield wipers, you should feel really good. So we got two more rounds of that. Three, two, one, let's go. Knee tuck and stretch. Take it slow and controlled. We're gonna go into your single leg V-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. These moves are definitely getting harder as we continue building those reps in. Do your best. Ten seconds. We're gonna go into full V-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. These are not easy. You stay with it. Ten seconds. I'm about to take those options as well. Three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds. Just relax. Ooh, okay, last round, best round. How can we push ourselves in this one? Maybe we can try to get one more rep in or at least do it with better form this time around. We'll take off in 10 and then you are completely done. So starting with your stretch, to your knee tuck in three, two, one, let's go. Drive it in, come back out. Really squeeze nice and tight. Ten seconds. Single leg V up, three, two, one, go. Oh. 
Use the hands, swinging forward as momentum. Eight. We got full V-ups in three, two, one, let's go. Final 30. It's okay if your knees bend. It's okay if you're just doing regular crunches at this point. <laughs> just keep on moving. Don't lay there, 10. Three, two, and one. You are done. Oh my goodness. Bring those hands in a field goal post on the floor and just allow those knees to fall over to the right. Maybe eyes gaze to the left. Stretch out those abs. Amazing, amazing work. Let's bring those knees back through center and switch. Eyes gaze to the right as your knees fall to the left. When you're ready, knees come to the chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze and go ahead and sway side to side. Give yourself a little back massage. You can also make some knee circles around. And then reverse. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly come on up. We'll take a, an all fours position. Let's stretch out the belly a little bit with some cat and cow. So, all fours, inhale, arch the spine, ooh, yes. And then exhale around. Let's go one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Find a neutral back, tuck the toes, downward dog. Walk those hands towards your toes, rolling up, one vertebrae at a time. And let's take one final deep breath. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, let it go. Awesome job.